As people around the world struggle with the threat of coronavirus, healthcare workers on the front lines have to face this pandemic head on. Joining us now is a doctor who got infected with coronavirus while treating patients in Spain. Dr. Yale Tung Chen works at a hospital in Madrid. Dr. Chen, we are so glad to have you with us. How are you feeling today? Thank you. Uh, today much better than yesterday. How many days is this that you've been sick? Uh, five days. You look great. I've got to say, you look great. And you know, you've been charting the course of your illness on Twitter for people. So can you just take us through it? Day one, what were your symptoms? Day two, what were your symptoms? Day three, and so on. Mm, sure. Um, the first day, I started with some chills, with sore throat, cough, and uh, uh, a terrible headache. Then, uh, and low grade fever. And then move to to day two. Uh, the headache started to fade away. I started with uh, with small uh, mild diarrhea and uh, the low grade fever disappeared. Also, the cough is still was there. And day three, uh, I started to feel a little bit better. As you were talking, mm -hmm. we put up an ultrasound. You have an ultra ultrasounds every day of your lungs. And what can we, if we could just put those up again? What uh, it's hard for us to know what we're seeing, of course. But what do you see happening in your lungs through day four? What I see, uh, my ultrasound is uh, uh, opacities, which is uh, mm, correlates with uh, a pneumonia. So oh. the translation to my ultrasound will be uh, pneumonia. So you had pneumonia. You developed pneumonia yeah. because of this. Yes. The pneumonia is common in this disease, and uh, right now I'm doing just fine. That's amazing, doctor, and we're so happy to hear that. You are, as we say, a doctor at University Hospital in Madrid, Spain. Doctors, of course, yes. are hyper cautious. I mean, you all wear gloves, you wash your hands all the time, you wear protective garments. And so, do you know exactly how you caught coronavirus, or is it just community spread at your hospital? One of my colleagues was positive way, probably way before uh, the rest of us. So this is uh, a message I want to send to all my, my doctor, fellows, colleagues, to be careful. Anyone who is symptomatic should avoid any contact or even work. That's interesting. So in other words, before you all started wearing all of the protective garments, one of your colleagues was positive and probably spread it through touch, through coughing, yes. through a surface? Yes. Uh, back then, uh, no, nobody knew that was positive. But uh, after my positive test, he got it done as well and turned to be it. And since he was the first uh, with symptoms, mm, we guess uh, he could be the source. Mm. Um, Doc, when are you going to be able to go back to work? Uh, probably uh, in one week time. Uh, uh, hopefully, uh, if everything goes right, I can. As soon as I don't have symptoms, I can repeat my test, and if it turns negative, I can go back to to work and uh, yeah, uh, probably my bosses will put me in, in the front line <laughs> to see all patients. Well, Dr. Yale Tung Chen, everyone appreciates being able to watch what you went through and then watch your quick recovery. Uh, thank you so much for sharing your personal story with us today. Thanks to you. Look, it's great to see him. Feeling better. Yes, yes, look, and the vast majority of people who get it will. Yes, but it wasn't mild. I mean, I think that, that there's also some confusion about what the 80% of people who get it, if it's mild, getting pneumonia, having chills, all, everything yeah. he described, I don't know if we would no. consider that mild. He didn't make it sound comfortable, that's for sure.